now after understanding plant tissues let us understand animal tissue now basically animal tissue is divided into four parts first one is epithelium second one is connective third one is muscular and the fourth one is nervous the base on the basis of their structure and function animal tissue is divided in four part that is epithelial connective muscular and nervous so first and foremost we will study about epithelial tissues so the first one we study is epithelial tissues now we should understand before understanding the types of epithelial let us understand how is the, what is the structure of epithelial tissues now epithelial tissues the cells are closely packed to each other it means that there is no intracellular space between the two cells because because when the cells are closely packed they are strong rigid and have a proper uh, property of protection this is a structure of epithelial tissue now it is available on the external area of your ears nose mouth even in the internal lining like inside your mouth inside your stomach inside your intestine rectum ns ear opening eyes opening all these openings of external area and even in the internal area are lined with epithelial tissue there are four type first one is squamous epithelium now when we talk about a squamous epithelium we should understand the structure and function of squamous epithelium they are large flat type of tissues that is the structure it's large and flat in shape what is the location they are available on the skin of the person the nose and in the mouth area and the function is protection the second one is stratified now stratified epithelium is basically same but as somehow different kind of cells they are same like squamous but somehow different types of cells combine together to form stratified epithelium now what is the location and where it is present it is present in the skin and in the cornea which is the topmost layer of your eyes and the function is sick uh, protection and act as a protective barrier it protects them uh, from external injuries and external harm the third one is cuboidal cuboidal as the name suggests the structure is like a cube now where it is present the location of cuboidal it is present in kidney and in a sweat gland and what is the function the function of it is absorption and secretion next one is columnar it is as the name suggests it is like a structure of a cylinder cylindrical structure that is a structure that is why the name is column it looks like a column it's cylindrical in structure available in stomach and in intestine it is in the inside lining of the stomach and intestine and the main function is absorption of nutrient in the large intestine and small intestine and secretion of gastric juices into the stomach and the next one is 